Here, let me show you. Let me show you this little kitty. All right, what's up guys? So today we're going to be talking about a new construction technology that even this cat here is going to love. Hi, say hi. Hello. Okay. <laughs> All right, what's up everybody? So today we're going to be talking about this new technology that is the first of its kind in America and it's called Build Lift technology. Okay, so imagine a project being built from the top down instead of bottom up. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but that's exactly what Build Lift is all about. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so lift build technology is exactly what you see here in this video. Every floor is being constructed in the ground level before being raised to the top and securely locked into place. This game changer technology will forever change how construction is being done in the field. So the project that we're going to be talking about here is called The Exchange. The Exchange is located in Detroit and it has around 153 residential rental units as well as 12 for sale condominium units. They even have an office space at the bottom with around 166,000 square foot of retail space. Now this project here cost around $65 million to build and each floor weighs almost a million pounds and takes around eight hours to go from ground level to the top before being locked into place. So building from the top down actually means that your workers can be at the ground level installing steel beams and putting on metal decking and concrete instead of doing it on the 15th or the 16th floor. By doing it at the ground level and then pulling it up using a conveying system, which is known as the lift build technology, they would have created a safer working environment for the construction workers. A good example would be this picture right here where steel workers are working a thousand feet above the ground. Instead of doing that with this technology, workers can now install steel beams and exterior facades on the ground without having the need to wear fall protection. So the GC of this project is called Barton Melo, who used lift build technology to construct this building. However, lift build technology is also a company founded by Barton Melo, which is extremely smart because by doing everything in-house, they would have saved the owner a lot of money. However, like I said before, this project cost $65 million to build. So the question we should ask ourselves is, is this method actually more cost effective or did it cost them more to do research and development? So here are some benefits that come with using this technology. So first, you have a more simplified system now because instead of building your core and shell, which is your concrete and steel at the same time, you can build your core, which is the two towers that you saw, which acted as the spine of the building and then you can build the shell around it. So that way, you simplify your construction methodology. Second, you don't need a tower crane anymore, which means you don't have to pay for rent of the crane as well as pay for the crane operator. On the website, it says that they have reduced inefficient lifting by as much as 300%. Because most of the assembly are done off-site, for example, your windows and exterior walls, all the crew needs to do is to bring it to site and start the install. Now, if you combine all these factors together, you would have saved the project a bunch of time. So let's take a look at a couple of the exchange amenities here. They have the fitness center that we just saw, the concierge that looks really professional, and a restaurant space on the ground level, so you can just go downstairs and eat there. You can also bring your friends to the clubhouse lounge to chill, as well as a roof deck to oversee the skyline of Detroit, and a nice river. I really like the interior of each unit as well. They look really sleek and minimalistic, as well as up-to-date appliances. Um, so the condominiums, I, what I really like about this is the floor-to-ceiling windows um, that brings in a bunch of natural daylight, as well as the wood floor. They even have a 3D model on their website showing you what's vacant and what's occupied. The green are units that are already leased out. The blue are units that are sold to people who actually bought them. And then the red obviously would be your unoccupied units. All right guys, if you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Have a good one.